Hey, it's Tate from Nanjing Marketing Group. I've been using the Chinese lifestyle app Xiaohongshu for a few months now, and I've gained about a thousand followers on there. I've also been using the app a lot myself. So I'd like to share with you some of the things that I've learned, some of the things that have worked. Uh, Xiaohongshu is an app that has about 200 million users on it, monthly active users, and most of them are female. They tend to be a younger audience. And I've been using it for 3.5 months so far, and I have 1,004 followers. Uh, you can see my content here. Now, I've posted 21 videos so far, about twice per week, or I mean, I tried to do that. And in the last 30 days, I've had 550 hours of watch time on there, which is actually a bit more than my YouTube channel, which I've had around for longer and has a lot more content on it. I think I'd like to share with you first what the app is like as a user, and then I'll show you it as a creator. I have another video about this too that goes in more detail if you'd like. But as a user, uh, basically I'll come on here on my phone and the explore page is the number one thing. And these are not accounts that I'm following or mostly they're not. It's just going to show me content that it thinks that I am interested in. And I have spent probably 30 hours on here. Uh, so it has an idea of what I like. Uh, okay, it shows me lots of pictures of uh, pretty girls and videos. Um, and what's interesting about that is I never have liked any of those. I have never posted a comment or a heart on any of those, but it still shows me. Even though actually the algorithm is going to try to give me content that I interact with, that I uh, add a heart for or a comment or something like that. So the other types of content that I often see on here are uh, a lot of art. See, it, it knows that I like uh, Batman comic books and stuff like that. Uh, it'll show me architecture often and it'll show me some English tips, not because I need to learn English, but because I've been watching some other users that give English tips, other foreigners on there. A lot of the content is um, image and text-based, but it has videos too. A lot of short videos on there. Okay. Now, I think something interesting about this, this Explore page being the number one thing is that uh, it's relatively easy to get started on this app. You know, going from zero to over a thousand users um, in a few months is pretty good. It's a, it's a lot easier than it would be on something like WeChat, um, the main WeChat Gong Zhong Hao, because those ones, uh, users are just seeing it in their message area and the virality of it isn't very high. They're not seeing suggested content for new accounts, so it would be harder to get new followers on that on WeChat than it would here on Xiaohongshu. There's also a section for people that I follow, and the interface is a bit different. It'll show things in a bigger format here. Uh, and I do check this content. I check this follow area, but I checked with some of my uh, my colleagues, and a lot of them said that they never even actually look at this area of where they're following. And finally, there's also a nearby area, which I don't use in Edmonton because I don't think there's enough people here. When I've checked this from time to time, it often shows me content that is pretty far away. Well, not this one. This might be right near my house. Hmm. No, I, I won't look into that right now. But in general, the nearby content hasn't been very nearby to me a lot of the time, so I haven't used it. Let's take a look at it as a creator. I'm gonna show you my desktop screen here. What I've noticed uh, is that some of the demographics of the people that are following me are not the same as the main demographics of Xiaohongshu. Uh, so some people, when they think about which kind of platform to promote their content on, they might think, uh, they might look at the overall demographics. And for Xiaohongshu, they might see, oh, it's 90% women. Well, but I don't need to reach women, so maybe I shouldn't use it. But, you know, there's 200 million users on here. So there's going to be a lot of different, different types of people. For me, my users are 51% male. And also they tend to skew to the middle age, just like me. I talk about some things to do with family. I talk about uh, things to do with Canada or that could be interesting to people that want to immigrate to Canada too. So maybe that's why I picked up these types of users. Uh, here it shows how people are finding me, and they are finding me through that explore area, mostly. And then some people are also finding me through the search function. And then some are finding me through other sources. So I guess that would be the follow area, perhaps. 
and it gives me a breakdown of where people are, some different places in China, and what they're what they're interested in. Um, they're interested in life recordings, I guess, and education. Here's my traffic overall up top, and it comes in waves. This is what I've noticed. Uh, you can get a hit, some great content that a lot of people read, and it will really go big. And then other content just doesn't get so many views at all. So here's one of the first big ones that I had in the last 30 days. And then there was this other one that was quite big. And those ones are this one here where I was talking about uh, accents and whether foreigners care about Chinese accents. Because this is a question that somebody gave me, so I decided to answer it for them. And then there is another one here where I talk about the things that you should not talk about with North Americans and the Chinese readers find this to be pretty funny um, because I give them some useful tips you know I say for example uh, when you uh, see a friend after a while don't call them fat <laughs> which is unique to the uh, Chinese point of view because that's a common thing that they'll say you know when they meet you after not seeing you for a while they'll say oh you got you got fat you know, you got fatter or uh, you got thinner or whatever it is. They will make an observation about you to show that they are paying attention to your situation. And it's not an insult or anything. But of course, if you do that to an American, <laughs> just tell them they got fat. They're probably not going to like it. I give some different tips like that. This one was a, a very popular one. That's the kind of content that I'm making in here. Let's jump back to my phone for a little bit. I think that the, the content that, you, that a person places on here is key. It's the uh, only real consideration that we've had. We're not, uh, okay, sorry. When I say we, I mean me and my team because they are helping me with this. I create the content, they do some other things for me like write the hashtags uh, and um, uh, create the thumbnails, okay? The content is key. That's what we've been focused on. We haven't been trying to reach out and make comments in other places or do collaborations or do any kind of other marketing things that you might do on social platforms sometimes besides just creating the content. Uh, and I got a list of new content. I get feedback from them and I'm going to try to just make this better and better and get more followers into the future. Besides the video that we create, uh, the thumbnail is something that's important. Uh, these longer, higher thumbnails tend to work well because you can see they show up more, right? Compare this one up, up here near the top right of my face to the one below. I think it takes up more space and it's just more catchy, okay? The one below is exactly the format that we use on Billy Billy, a different Chinese video platform. Then also for these, we just add a little bit of intro text about them and we add some hashtags there some types of uh, hashtags that we think people would be interested in. It helps them to, uh, to find the content. Maybe they do it uh, through them by themselves or better yet, it helps the, the algorithm understand what type of content this is and, and who to suggest it to. You can also see some bullet comments flying across the top of the screen once in a while. Those are the comments that other people add that fly across the, the uh, video. So I think um, that's about it for now, what I've learned is that um, people like short video tips on here about English or about cultural uh, cultural things, and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I will create some business type content, some marketing related content on here too, uh, but I don't really expect that to do so well on, on Xiao Hongshu. We'll see what happens. I am uh, not only posting content on Xiao Hongshu, but I'm posting it on Billy Billy and Douyin, and we're gonna do WeChat channels too soon. And I'm just going to keep doing that and trying to build up myself as a personal brand on uh, Chinese social media as opposed to just promoting our business. That's it for now. If you have any questions, leave a comment. See you later.